Hello, and welcome to the SBTI's training on supplier engagement. This session covers module number two, selecting the right suppliers for the right targets. After completing this module, you will know, first, the process to calculate your scope three emissions, second, how to determine if a supplier engagement target is right for your company, and lastly, how to identify the right suppliers to include in your company's targets. Before setting a Scope 3 emissions reduction target, you must first complete a full Scope 3 greenhouse gas inventory. The full standard for conducting an inventory is published by the Greenhouse Gas Protocol and is linked in the description below. The purpose of a Scope 3 inventory is to estimate your company's Scope 3 emissions by category. The four-step process shown on this page summarizes how to calculate Scope 3 emissions according to the Greenhouse Gas Protocol. Step one is to complete a value chain mapping exercise. You should list all upstream and downstream activities and map them to the scope three categories defined in the greenhouse gas protocol standards. Step two is to conduct a scope three screening, which provides an initial emissions estimate across scope three categories. This will highlight your largest categories by emissions and help prioritize reduction opportunities. Once categories have been prioritized, Step three is to refine your scope three calculations to get to an even more accurate emissions estimate. The greenhouse gas protocol standard walks you through how to do this in detail, as well as the data required. Finally, as scope three emissions are calculated each year, step four is to continuously improve your data quality, which will enable more efficient and robust calculations over time. There are three methods by which you can set targets to reduce scope three emissions. You may also choose a combination of methods. Absolute emissions reductions target an overall percentage reduction in a company's emissions. For example, a company could target to reduce absolute scope three emissions from purchased goods and services by 45% by 2030 from a 2020 base year. Emissions intensity reductions target a percentage reduction measured against a physical unit or unit of economic value added. For example, a company could target to reduce scope three emissions by 50% per unit of product by 2030 from a 2020 base year. Finally, companies can set supplier or customer engagement targets, meaning they will engage their suppliers or customers to set their own science-based targets. For example, a company could commit to having suppliers covering 70% of emissions from purchased goods and services set science-based targets by 2027. Regardless of which method you choose, supplier engagement is an effective means to address your scope three emissions. As a general note, according to SBTI criteria, scope three targets are required for your company if your scope three emissions are greater than 40% of your total emissions. You can determine whether this applies to you based on your greenhouse gas inventory which we covered on the previous page. If you are above the 40% threshold, you must set scope three targets, which cover at least 67% of total scope three emissions using one or a combination of the methods on this page. There are many reasons why companies might choose a supplier engagement target. For example, you might choose this method if First, there is a limited access to primary supplier or product specific emissions data. Second, your supply chain or product mix is extremely complex. Third, your company does not produce physical goods, resulting in a footprint primarily driven by indirect procurement. Or lastly, alternatives to supplier engagement are not identified or are difficult to implement. If you are considering the supplier engagement method, you must satisfy four criteria. First, in terms of boundary, the supplier engagement target must fall within a scope three category where your company has credible engagement with suppliers. Credible engagement refers to categories which it would be reasonable to assume your company has the power and standing to influence suppliers. Second, in terms of formulation, the target must break out the percentage of emissions covered within each category. As a reminder, Categories are defined in the greenhouse gas protocol standard linked in the description below. Third, in terms of time frame, the supplier engagement target must be achieved within five years of submission. 
And fourth, as we covered moments ago, if scope three emissions are greater than 40% of a company's total emissions, scope three targets must cover at least 67% of scope three emissions. Suppliers must set their scope one, two, and three targets aligned with the current SBTI criteria. Further information on SBTI criteria can be found in the document titled SBTI Criteria and Recommendations for Near-Term Targets, linked in the description below. Once you've decided to pursue a supplier engagement strategy, you must first identify which suppliers to include in your target, focusing on the highest impact suppliers. As a starting point, you must first rank your suppliers. There are two ways to do so, either by emissions or by spend. Ranking by emissions is preferred, but can prove difficult if you do not have visibility into supplier emissions data. If ranking by emissions is difficult or prohibitive, you should rank by spend. Once you have a ranked list, you should consider additional qualitative factors which can influence the suppliers you choose to engage. For example, if you have strong leverage over a supplier and a strategic long-term partnership in place, they could be a good candidate for engagement. Conversely, if you are likely to drop a supplier in the coming years, they may not be included. Determine which qualitative factors are most relevant to your business when developing your supplier list. To bring this guidance to life, this page covers two examples of companies who have set supplier engagement targets through the SBTI. AstraZeneca targets 95% of its suppliers by total spend with a minimum of 50% of suppliers covering upstream transportation and distribution, having set science-based targets by 2025. And Salesforce targets 60% of its suppliers by upstream emissions, having set science-based targets by 2024. Thank you for listening to this module on selecting the right suppliers for the right targets. We hope this information will help as you engage your supply chain on the decarbonization journey.